What's up YouTube, Mad Bricks here, and today I'm going to do a review on the 2015 Call of Duty Covered Ops unit. Set number CNF14, it has 129 pieces and is recommended for ages 10 and up. Well, here we got the front of the box with a picture of the set and the little figure right there that comes included with this set. Here I have some box art, which is, you know, cool as always, and the accessories that this set comes with. Well then, I guess that's it for the box. Now that we looked at the box, let's open this thing up and see what we have inside. Meanwhile, I need scissors. Wow, I think I do need scissors. Holy, no way. I'm gonna get scissors. You know what? This will do. It's a pencil, but still. There you go. Aha. All right, then. Let's get started. Well, here's what we got, and uh, as you can see, it's not that much, but what took the most time here was the figures, of course, because you need to assemble them up. Anyway, since this is basically a figure pack, let's start with the figures first. Here we have the dog that comes included, and this is a named figure, so it's Riley from Ghosts. As you may not have noticed, it's this whole set is basically ghosts. And uh, well, what can I say about this figure? It's just a dog. I mean, its head moves, you know sideways and stuff it could go up and down the legs all move independently the tail also moves and um well basically uh it has some accessories attached to it except for that uh i don't know that accessory in its head i mean that's untouchable so you can't take that out if you just want this to be just like a normal dog with no gear or anything so that can't happen because it'll look weird if a dog that's supposed to not have gear has that thing on its head I mean, I don't know what this is, this black thing. I think it's like a camera or something that's supposed to look at what the dog does. Like in Ghost, in that mission where you're actually the dog and you get to take down those guys. But yeah, the dog is a nice black on brown color. It looks pretty good. Well then, now that that's finished, let's move on to the rest of the figures. All right then, now here we have the main stars of this set, the Ghost Squad. I mean, these guys are the reason why you want to get this set or the reason why you already got it. Because just look at these guys. These guys are amazing. And because they are amazing, I'm gonna review these guys one by one starting with the guy on the right since he's not that amazing I mean look at him. He has a freaking bucket head All right, then starting from the less awesome to the very awesome one here We have this bucket head right here. Well, he has a head of a juggernaut just painted color He has no like special detail on him. Yeah, just nothing at all. No design or anything It's just like he's just here in this set just as filler to complete the four figures but um he has like a very darkish forest military green on him as his shirt and his pants and for boots and everything else except for his helmet is just like very dark gray because his helmet is black and also he has a nice silver flashbang and a black pouch and a very nice black rpg with the green ammunition basically yeah that's pretty much it for this guy now on to the next one. Okay, now here we have another ghost soldier. Now this guy, I think he was supposed to represent Keegan, but I don't know. But besides that, this guy has some face painting, as you can see there, that skull right there on his mask. And his shirt is the same with the other generic guy, the dark green. And um, his torso is the same, only his pants, his boots, his uh, vest are black, and part of his visor too. And uh, of course, what this guy is packing, he has... Okay, I think that's an upside down pouch. Let me just fix that. You guys did not see that. Okay, back where I was. Now, and this guy also has a flashbang right there. A nice greenish flashbang, although you can barely see it. Like, I think on the camera, it looks a little bit black, but it's a little bit greener than the little thing it's sticking to on its, uh, in its leg. And this guy also has like an AK-47 right there with the scope. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this guy. But uh, yeah, on to the next. Ooh, now we're going into one of the more awesome figures. Now this guy, come on, we all know who he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be Hesh. I mean, just look at him. He has that face paint and it just looks awesome. He even has that beanie and stuff and he's dual wielding which also I think is a mistake that this set came with because in the box it shows that and in the manual too that there's only supposed to be one pistol but 
I received two and uh, well <laughs> I guess I'm one of the more lucky guys that have gotten extra pieces in this set and uh, we'll just turn him around he has a, a nice like I don't know like very blue silverish metallic shirt on and pants his boots his vest and his torso are black including his gloves and uh but just like his face I and mean, kind of from close up it looks like they just threw like i don't know blotches of paint on his face but from far away it looks like very awesome this guy is an awesome figure and this guy besides the dual wielding black pistols he has two knives on him and a black flashbang so this guy is definitely one of the better figures in my opinion from this set so uh yeah, off to the next one. Okay then, now here we have the guy that's supposed to be representing Logan. Now this guy, in my opinion, is the best just because of his face. I mean, look at that. I'm mean, Technically, it's not his face, but because it's just like a beanie all the way on. But this guy looks amazing, like out of everyone. I mean, the skull on his face, his eyes, even his eyes, they look menacing. Look at that thing. He doesn't look derpy at all like many of the other figures that we have received. No, his shirt and his torso are all black. His uh, boots, pants, and his uh, vest, they're all like that same metallic gray bluish color. The same as uh, the guy representing Hesh. And his gloves are gray. And you can see him packing right there a nice LMG, although it has one of those 16 round magazines on it. Not one of those big ones. Although it does come with that, which I'll show you later. And uh, he has a black knife and a black flashbang. So, um, yep, that's it for the figures. Now let's move on to the build. All right then, here we have the build. Now this build is just, I don't know, it's just like, there's not much to it. I guess this is just to add background, like to make it look like it was in a warehouse or something. Probably it is in a warehouse because in the front of the box it shows that it's in a warehouse or something but uh yeah this comes with like these nice brownish golden pillars four of them and right here you have like two little hooks right here so you could like i don't know probably add a gun to there or something or a little flashbang although i don't think the flashbang will fit but here we have like yellow handles and stuff well this one's like coming off right now and a nice ladder so it's pretty much that's it there's nothing else to it it's just to add scenery to the figures it's just like for display or something so uh yeah i guess that wraps up this review all right then since basically this review is over like always i'm gonna rate it so i rate this set at 10 out of 10 i mean this is like for good reason one although there are like four and a half figures since riley just counts as a half they do look great i mean these figures have a lot of good detail mostly on the face but still they look very good and like always come on he came with three pieces although uh, i'm pretty sure it was a mistake we all know that this guy over here got another pistol and i also got another one of these things that go on their leg so they could like you know clip on flashbangs and other magazines and knives and stuff and they also gave us another a one by two piece right here and remember what i said about the lmg and stuff well here they have the big box of bullets that goes on it so you could like replace the magazine on that and if you want to go you know full on big and stuff but uh yeah that's it for this review if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new and like always i hope you have a good day <laughs>